Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I just marvel at how quickly I can get stuff from Amazon these days. I'm a Prime member, and they recently committed to doing next day uh, delivery for everything they possibly can if you're a Prime member. Remember when it was free two-day delivery? Remember when it was expedited delivery? Like, you know, they, they've just gotten faster and faster and faster. And it made me think about how sometimes when we do things really quickly, when we hurry up and get something done or hurry up and acquire something or hurry up and get a process going and hurry up to the solution, it's often, probably more often than not, less satisfying and less effective than not being plodding and slow, but just taking the appropriate amount of time. We sometimes tend to value speed above all, uh, especially when it comes to uh, deal flow in our business, you know, getting things done right away. I, even I've espoused it in a number of these videos. And also when I teach people how to do auditions, I don't want them to go so slow and be so studied about all the different takes that they do. I want them to get to the good stuff as quickly as possible. It's not because I want you to do things quickly just for doing things quickly's sake. What I want you to do is train yourself to be able to be confident in your ability to make bold choices, appropriate choices, faster, so that you can take advantage of the number of opportunities that we all have as voiceover talent. Um, and if you're on camera and you're getting a lot of opportunities there, same thing. It takes a lot longer to do an on-camera audition, but if you can do more of them because you make those bolder choices faster, you can take advantage of the numbers. I bring this up only because I think sometimes we fall into the trap of the idea of if I just do something, if I do anything, if I just get something done, that's great. But the truth of the matter is, is that just getting anything done is not the same as getting one particular thing, one effective thing done. We sometimes spin our wheels and we're active, but we're not productive. We're not, you know, getting to the outcome that we want. We're just telling ourselves, well, I did that. I mean, I don't know whether it was effective or not, but I did that. At least I did something. And I'm not sure that's really what we should value. I think that Quality really has to have an upper hand over speed. In fact, that's why when I created the stair step method and when I teach that method of audiobook narration and recording and production and mastering uh, to my students, every step along the way, I wanted to speed things up, but the moment I got to something that sped things up, but also harmed the eventual quality of what I was doing, I stopped. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make that a part of the process. And I think we sometimes forget that. We come up with a more efficient way of doing things, but it isn't necessarily an effective way. I don't have any big takeaway here other than consider taking your time, being thoughtful, as opposed to at all costs being hell-bent to save time and save energy and be quick and be in a hurry. Um, think about, you know, the idea that when you get a pizza in one of those ovens uh, and it only takes three and a half minutes to cook and you wolf it down because you got to get back to work, how much of that do you remember, right? Don't you remember those those meals that take a while to make and you smell them as they're cooking and you... You know, those cookies that are baking for 12 minutes or 15 minutes as opposed to the ones that are instantly available to you. I just think there's some value to the idea of enjoying the process appropriately. I'm not saying push things off and be slow for being slow's sake. I mean, don't dive specifically for being fast. Dive for being effective. That's really what 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 makes me happy is when I'm effective, no matter how long it takes. Certainly, I'm a fan of saving time where I can, but not if it affects the quality of the outcome. That's something I really want to pay attention to. Tell me what you think here. I mean, have you sat there for the last few minutes and gone, what are you talking about? Or did something here ring a bell for you? Did something here resonate for you? 
leave me a comment below, especially if you're watching on vo2gogo.com. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. And of course, the comments are sane and moderated. They're not crazy like they are on social media sometimes. And you can take your time. You don't have to type fast. Take your time. I'll be here. Uh, I'd love it if you'd join my list. If you're not on my list already, there's a subscribe button below the video. I'd love to be able to share with you when I have uh, videos like this and new blog posts and things that I think would be helpful to you in your performance career. And if you'd like to see the latest video I've done, we're doing a new one every day this year. It's a challenge that I've taken up and I'm really enjoying. Go ahead and click on that frame there and YouTube will take you there and play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.